What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we're creating a sketch illustration of Ichigo Kurosaki from Bleach. Let's begin today's lesson by adding a guideline coming down the center of our page. We're gonna start from the very top. It's gonna lightly work our way down towards the bottom. Coming down with a straight line, all the way down. And I wanna add another guideline going across from left to right. So we'll start back in the middle, go out toward the left. Now these lines don't have to be perfect. You just want to get the right placement. And we'll just extend that out towards the right side. Now I'm going to use these guidelines to help us create a circle in the middle of our page. From the center, a step up towards the top. I'm just going to mark this off along the top of our circle. Now I want to take that same distance down towards the bottom. So from the center, come down and just mark this off. Now I want to do the same thing across this horizontal line. Taking this distance over towards the left, marking that off and then taking that over towards the right. Now I connect each of these points with a curve to create our circle. Let's start with the top left. Now this circle doesn't have to be perfect. We just want to get the right size and just placement in the center of our page. And we can always go back and just readjust this and just smooth it out. Now with our circle in place, let's add some guidelines. We'll start on the side of our circle. So we'll start on the left. We'll pull this all the way down towards the bottom and then do the same thing on the right. Let's add another line going across the bottom of our circle. Extend that out towards the left and right side. Now let's add that gap in between the eyes. From the center, let's step over towards the left, draw a straight line coming down. And then again, we'll take that same distance over towards the right. Now with this drawing, we want to tilt the head forward, so the eyes are going to sit down along the bottom half of our circle. So starting on the left side, right around here, let's get the line going across. Let's add some shape to the eyes. From this point, we're going to step down, curve the eye going up and then out toward that top line, and we'll line this up on the right and do the same thing. From the outside of our circle, let's step in, curve the eye coming back down and then in, and then do the exact same thing on the right. Now let's move back to the center along the bottom of our circle. Step down, just gonna mark off the nose with a straight line, and then we'll add a V, going up toward the left, and then the right, just to create a point. Now the mouth is gonna sit just underneath the nose, so from the tip, draw a straight line going across from left to right. Let's go over towards the left, angle the mouth going up and out towards the top corner, go to the right side and do the same thing. Now from the corners of the mouth, we're gonna bend this in and then come down towards the bottom on both sides. Close off the bottom with a straight line. Now just underneath the mouth, draw a short line for the lower lip. From the bottom of the lip, we're just gonna mark off the chin just around here straight across from left to right. Let's add some shape to the outside of the head. Starting from the side of our circle, it's going to angle this down and then in, right towards this line, and then do the same thing on the right. Now from the jaw, it's going to angle the head coming down and then in towards the chin. And we're going to leave a gap in the center just to flatten off the chin. Now I'm going to cover the right side of the face with the mask, so let's go over to the left side and draw a half circle along the top for the iris. I'm just going to come down and then just bend that back up. And then in the center, draw a small dot for the pupil. Let's lightly shade in the inside of the eye going around the iris with these horizontal lines, a little bit like cross hatching. Now I'm going to draw the outside edge of the mask. Let's start right in the center, angle this up towards the eye, and then bring that back down towards the mouth. Now I'm layer the teeth going up towards the right side. Starting down here, let's start with a point going up and then back down. Now I'm just gonna follow the curve of the mouth. I'm just gonna continue adding these points, going up. Add a few more, and one more on the end. And now I wanna draw the bottom of the teeth, coming down, and then back up. 
just connecting each of these points along the bottom with a tooth and just working our way up. Now when you go to this point, we're just going to angle up towards the eye. Let's curve around the eye along the top and then bend that out. And we'll bend that up towards the outside, towards the side of our circle. Let's go back to the inside, curve this up underneath the eye. Let's trace the eye along the bottom, go up towards the side, and then up. Now we're gonna do the same thing we did with the left eye. I'm just gonna lightly shade this in with some cross hatching. Now I'm tear up the mask along the center going up towards the top. So let's start right in the middle and go up, bring that down on the side. Now I just want to tear up the edge of the mask. Just pulling these down, adding some points. I'm going to go around the left eye. Again, just adding those tears. Go across the top. And just pull that back in. Let's make our way up towards the top of the mask. This random shape going all the way up towards the point and working our way down. Now we're going to work our way over towards the right side of the head. I'm just going to add some shape to the right side of the mask going around the eye, coming down at an angle and then in. Let's go back and add the inside of the brow. Just curving this up and in underneath the mask. And curve the eyebrow going up and then out. Let's add some thickness to the eyebrow. It's coming in a bit thicker along the inside. And I'm just going to add a fold underneath the eye on the inside and then the outside of the eye, just underneath. Let's draw the edge of the mask coming across the left cheek, starting up here. I'm just going to follow the curve of the circle coming in, bring these down and out. And curve this back out towards the side. Just gonna add some wrinkles along the inside. Now I'm gonna go back down and draw the top row of teeth. Start with a line going across the top, and bend that out, and then the bottom row of teeth coming across the bottom, and curving this up along the side. Now I'm gonna add the hair bangs over on the left side of the head. Let's start right in the middle. We're just going to go across the eyebrow and then back up underneath the mask. Let's move over, come across on top of the left eye and up. I'm just going to continue to add these points going across towards the outside of the head. Now let's go to the right side of the head and add those points going around towards the left side. So let's start on the right side. Let's go straight up towards the top, right about there. Angle this back down and then in. Now along the inside, we're just going to work our way across, just brushing the hair over towards the left. Just pulling that back down. Work our way in towards the middle. Let's go back over towards the right side, add another point along the side. I'm just going to angle this down and out and back in. Now just coming down to the right side of the head, start to bend them down and go a little bit smaller towards the jaw. Now from the jaw, we're going to step in, draw two straight lines coming down the side of the neck, coming down the left and then the right side. Let's go up to the top, slope the shoulders, coming down and out. Now just up above the jaw, I'm just going to angle the ears going up and out, and just pull that straight up. 
Let's continue to bring that hair down along the side of the neck. So underneath the ears, come down and in. And it's gonna work in the left side first, and then the right. Now we'll go back and add those stripes across the mask on the right side. Starting up here, it's gonna bend this in, and then just come down towards the center. Now let's taper this up and back out towards the right side. Now from this point, we're gonna step up, add another stripe, going up and out, and just taper that back out towards the side. Let's add one more, stepping out, and make this one a little bit thinner. Let's add those two stripes underneath the right eye. Starting from the side of the head, it's gonna come down underneath the eye, come in, and then bend that down. Sort of aiming towards the tip of the nose, and we'll just taper that back out. Let's add a shorter one. Stepping down, come down and in, bend that down, and then taper that back out. Now with our rough sketch in place, let's go in and lightly erase some of these guidelines. Now that we have our clean drawing, it's easier to go back and readjust the shape. Let's start with the top of the head. We're just gonna raise this up a little bit higher. Going up and then back down. And just add a little bit more volume to the top of the head. And then along the side, I'm just gonna bring this down just to help balance it out with the right side. Add a few more points. And go a little bit larger on the right side. back and clean this up. Now once we're happy with the rough sketch, we'll go in and start refining their shape and adding some more detail. Let's start with the inside edge of the eye. I'm just gonna darken up our lines. And just working our way across the bottom. Again, just adding a little bit more shape to the eyes. I'm going to overlap that hair on top. I just want to darken up the inside of the eye. Work our way around the eye, going over towards that crack. And lightly shade in the eyebrows. Add that shadow line across the nose on the right, and it'll cross hatch the shadow along the inside.
to move over and start adding some detail to the teeth. Starting with that gum line, I'm going to give it a little bit more shape, just rounding out the edges. And then we're just working our way across the bottom. We can also add a subtle shadow on the right side of each tooth. This is a vertical line. I'm just going to lightly shade in those stripes. back and just trace out the teeth and just adding a little bit more shape, a couple points along the end. And we'll darken up the corner of the mouth and then just fade that in across the side of the tongue. Now let's add that shadow line across the right side of the head, just bending that in towards the chin. And then again, we're just gonna add that crosshatch shadow along the inside. Just go underneath the teeth. Now we're gonna also go back and add a little bit of shadow just above the eye, going underneath the hair. also along the side of the head. I'm just going to darken up those stripes along the outside of the head and then fade that in. And this will help create a little bit more shape to those stripes. I'm just going to add those pieces of the mask on the outside. I'm just going to darken up the shadow along the top and then fade that down. Now I'm just going to work our way around the perimeter of the hair. A 
right shadow across the top of the eyes. And add some shadow to the back side of the head. I'm just going to add a shadow line along the bottom edge of the hair. So it's going to add some points coming down and in. And let's work our way across. And we'll add that crosshatch shadow across the bottom. I'm going to go back and add a little bit of a bevel edge along the mask on the left side. Also inside the pieces. And I'm just going to loosely shade in the body. Let's add a shadow across the top of the right eye. So we'll start with that line and then add that cross hatching inside. Now, as we get near the end of our drawing, we'll continue to add some more detail and always be sure to sign our artwork. And that's pretty much it. There's a sketch illustration of Ichigo Kurosaki. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single week. And if you want to keep drawing with me, you might want to check out this video over here. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.